For nearly half a century, the F-15 Eagle has been the symbol of American air dominance, striking fear into every rival it faced. Its unmatched record in the skies became legend, a legacy no enemy dared to challenge. But now, from that very bloodline, a new beast rises, the F-15 EX Eagle II. This next-generation fighter doesn't just carry the torch, it redefines the battlefield. With blistering speed, overwhelming firepower, and cutting-edge systems that seem ripped from the future, it's not just an aircraft, it's a statement. America still owns the skies. Will this next predator of the skies guarantee America's air supremacy for generations ahead? Stay with us as we uncover the secrets of the F-15 EX Eagle II, a machine engineered to push beyond today's limits. Back in the late the 1960s, the Cold War cast a long shadow, and Washington remained on constant watch for Soviet advances. Then, in July 1967, the world got a shocking glimpse of Moscow's power when the USSR unveiled a brand new class of warplanes at an air show outside the capital. Among the Soviet unveilings, one aircraft instantly stole the spotlight the Mi G-25 Foxbat. It was an intimidating machine. Massive twin engines, dual vertical stabilizers, and the ability to scream past Mach 2 twice the speed of sound. The appearance of this high-speed interceptor sent shockwaves through the U.S. Air Force. American strategists quickly realized they needed a new fighter, one capable of not just matching the Foxbat, but surpassing it in air-to-air -air dominance. By the late 1960s, the U.S. Air Force faced a sobering reality. It hadn't fielded a purpose-built air superiority fighter since the F-86 Sabre back in the 1940s. That gap could no longer be ignored. In December 1967, a bold initiative was launched. The Fighter Experimental Program, or FX. Its mission was clear to build a jet that could dominate the skies, outclassing every Soviet aircraft then in service, and even those still on the drawing board. Two aerospace giants, General Dynamics and McDonnell Douglas, were tasked with developing early concepts. After a year of intense study, the Air Force sharpened its requirements and called for design proposals the very beginning of what would evolve into the legendary F-15 Eagle. By December 1968, three aerospace contenders, Fairchild Republic, McDonnell, Douglas, and North American Rockwell were each awarded contracts to flesh out their designs. But in an unexpected twist, the Air Force decided to break tradition. Rather than staging a costly prototype fly-off, they chose a faster, more economical path. On December 23, 1969, the final contract for what would become the F-15, Eagle was handed directly to McDonnell Douglas, a decision that would shape American air power for decades to come. The choice to hand the contract directly to McDonnell Douglas was far from unanimous critics warned it could spark costly delays and unexpected overruns. But once the deal was sealed, the project accelerated at full throttle. Teams of engineers and test pilots poured in countless hours, determined to transform the F-15 from a bold concept into a living, breathing war machine, one designed to stand toe-to-toe -to -toe with the Soviet threat. In 1972, the F-15 Eagle roared into the skies for its very first flight, a defining moment in the story of American air power. Just four years later, by 1976, it had already secured its place as a cornerstone of the U.S. Air Force arsenal. The Eagle wasted no time proving itself. Renowned for its toughness and adaptability, it excelled across multiple combat roles and quickly earned the trust of pilots. While designed from the outset as an air superiority fighter, the jet was engineered for extreme performance with ambitions of reaching speeds up to Mach 3, nearly three times the speed of sound. 
To rein in soaring production costs, the Air Force scaled back its original speed target, capping the Eagle at Mach 2.5. Even so, it remained among the fastest fighters on the planet, more than capable of outrunning nearly any threat it encountered in the skies. It added advanced systems for deep strike missions, close air support, and even electronic warfare, transforming the Eagle into a true multi-role powerhouse. Over the decades, multiple versions of the F-15 rolled off the production line. The early F-15A single-seater and F-15B twin-seat trainer set the foundation, followed by the upgraded F 15C and F-15D models. By the early 2020s, the tally had climbed to more than 1,198 aircraft, cementing the Eagle's status as one of the most prolific and successful fighters in aviation history. More than 525 F-15E Strike Eagles were actively flying, with additional jets slated to join the fleet in the years ahead. And America wasn't the only nation to bet on the Eagle. Countries like South Korea ordered their own variants, proving the fighter's appeal and effectiveness extended well beyond U.S. borders. Once the Eagle and its many versions entered service, they didn't just live up to expectations, they shattered them. Because at the end of the day, raw speed and versatility are impressive but the ultimate measure of a fighter jet is how it performs when the mission is real and the stakes are life or death. Now let's break down how the F-15 turned raw engineering into real combat dominance. Modern versions of the F-15 now rely on two General Electric F-110 GE, 129 afterburning turbofans, each pushing out more than 29,000 pounds of thrust. This raw engine power gave the F-15 the ability to rocket skyward, reach extreme altitudes, and hold supersonic speeds for long stretches of time. But speed and climb rate were only part of the story. The Eagle could haul a staggering 20,000 pounds of ordnance, about the same weight as a full-sized American school bus. What truly set the F-15 apart, though, was its cutting-edge radar and missile technology. It became the first fighter in history able to track and engage multiple enemy aircraft at once, striking targets from nearly 100 miles away before they even knew it was there. What this meant was simple F. 15 pilots could often take down enemy aircraft long before their opponents even realized they were being hunted. Yes, you heard that right. Not a single F. 15 has ever been shot down in aerial combat. That flawless record outshines every other modern fighter, even icons like the F-16 Fighting Falcon and the F-14 Tomcat. Across more than five decades in the air, only about 125 American F-15 have been lost. And here's the key. The vast majority weren't taken out in battle, but were the result of training mishaps or tough flying conditions. Even with the arrival of stealth platforms like the F-22 Raptor and F-35 Lightning, too, the F-15 has remained an essential asset in the Air Force arsenal. But here's the reality. No matter how legendary a machine is, time marches on. And even the Eagle, with all its triumphs, has reached the point where upgrades are no longer optional, but necessary. As we shift from the Eagle's legendary past to its future, it's clear that new threats and changing battlefields demand modernization. The F-15's track record, however, speaks louder than words. Across its decades of service, this jet has earned a reputation for toughness and dependability. To put it in perspective, for every 100,000 hours spent in the air, Fewer than two aircraft have been lost, a safety benchmark that very few high-performance fighters can claim. 
That kind of safety record is nothing short of extraordinary for a frontline fighter that routinely flies in some of the toughest conditions imaginable. Most of the few losses weren't from enemy fire, but from training mishaps or harsh weather. This reliability turned the Eagle into a dependable workhorse, not just for the U.S. Air Force, but also for allied nations that chose to fly it. To stay lethal on today's battlefields, the Eagle would need major improvements to its radar, communications, and electronic warfare systems. By 2018, the U.S. Air Force recognized this reality and began weighing its options. What they wanted was clear a fighter that could haul more weapons, fly greater distances, and seamlessly integrate the newest technology. So instead, the Air Force chose a faster, smarter path, an advanced evolution of the Proven Eagle. This upgraded fighter would soon be unveiled as the F-15 EX Eagle II. By opting to upgrade the F-15 fleet instead, the Air Force discovered a way to modernize a large segment of its fighters quickly and in a cost-efficient manner. With the decision to modernize the F-15 fleet finalized, the U.S. Air Force teamed up with Boeing, the company that had acquired McDonnell Douglas, to begin designing the next evolution of this iconic fighter. This upgraded aircraft, named the F-15EX Eagle II, merges the proven strengths of the classic F-15 with state-of-the-art technology and advanced systems. Let's dive into how this new Eagle was developed and uncover what makes it a true game-changer in modern aerial warfare. The F-15EX program kicked into full gear in 2018 when the Air Force set out a clear vision for its next-generation fighter. They tasked Boeing with developing a jet that could carry heavier payloads, extend its range, and integrate cutting-edge aviation systems. Boeing presented two configurations, a single-seat model dubbed the F-15CX and a two-seat variant named the F-15EX. After thorough evaluation, the Air Force selected the two-seat F-15EX as the platform to move forward with. The F 15EX is designed to operate either with a single pilot or with a two-person crew, allowing one to focus on flying while the other manages advanced weapons and mission systems. This makes the F-15EX one of the fastest fighters in the skies today. It also boasts greater range than previous F-15 models, enabling it to defend wider territories or hit targets far from base. With the F-15 EX Eagle II design locked in, the next challenge was turning this futuristic fighter from concept into reality. This effort requires meticulous planning, precision engineering, and extensive testing. In July 2020, Boeing secured a $1.2 billion contract to produce the first batch of eight F-15EX aircraft. This milestone marked the official kickoff of production for America's latest air superiority fighter. The company moved swiftly. Just seven months later, in February 2021, the very first F-15EX soared into the sky on its maiden flight signaling the beginning of a new era in fighter aviation. By March 2021, the Air Force had already taken delivery of its first F-15EX, less than two years after the program's official launch. This rapid progress was made possible because the F-15EX leverages the proven design of earlier F-15 models, enabling Boeing to utilize existing production lines and established manufacturing processes. Since that time, additional F-15EX aircraft have rolled out. By mid-2023, six jets were stationed at Eglin Air Force Base in Florida for rigorous testing and evaluation, while two operational fighters were handed over to the Oregon Air National Guard. The F 15EX is already demonstrating its value in Air Force missions. 
General Kenneth Wilsbach, commander of Air Combat Command, highlighted the jet's impressive ability to deliver heavy, long-range weapons with precision. This capability makes the F-15EX an essential tool for defending expansive regions, including the Pacific Theater. The F-15 has built a strong reputation on the global stage. Over decades, countries like Japan, Israel, Saudi Arabia, and South Korea have operated different F-15 models. These air forces have effectively integrated the fighter into their operations, often customizing it to fit their unique requirements. With the arrival of the F-15EX, many of these nations and others are showing a growing eagerness to modernize and expand their fleets. Japan, a long-standing operator of F-15s, is among the first to show serious interest in the F-15EX. The Japanese Air Self-Defense Force has flown F-15J fighters licensed versions of the F-15 built in Japan since the 80s. Now, they see the F-15EX as a key step in modernizing their air defense. With its advanced radar systems and expanded weapons capacity, the new fighter would be especially valuable for Japan, given its strategic position in East Asia. Israel, another veteran F-15 operator, is keeping a close eye on the F-15EX program. The advanced electronic warfare capabilities of the F-15EX, along with its ability to carry heavy ordnance, make it particularly attractive for Israeli Air Force, which must often secure air superiority in complex and demanding environments. Additional nations expressing interest in the F 15EX includes Saudi Arabia, Qatar, and Singapore. The global attention toward the F-15EX carries major implications. For the United States, exporting the jet strengthens alliances and can help lower program costs through larger production runs. For partner nations, the F-15EX provides access to a world-class fighter with a proven track record. Meanwhile, Boeing benefits from potential international sales, keeping production lines active, and boosting revenue. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.